Welcome back to the channel everyone. Uh, today we're going to do some stuff to the Bridgestone. Uh, it's really the final piece of the puzzle um, besides just any other minor things I come up with but I found uh, this one inch threadless fork off of a early 2000s Trek 520. That's uh, a touring bike and um, I'm going to put this on the Bridgestone and get rid of this quill stem. There's nothing wrong with it. I just I prefer threadless systems so to me this is an upgrade. Um, additionally the fork's a little bit longer, maybe by like two centimeters. Uh, so that will slacken the head, head tube angle a little bit and that'll help just uh, with some stability. Um, I don't expect it to change the handling too much, but um, it should be a good upgrade, I think. So uh, this will probably be the last major thing I do to this bike. Um, and after I put it on, we'll take it for a ride and we'll talk about the upgrade and uh, talk about the bike in general and, and talk about where I am with it. All right, let's get into it.
Oh. <laughs> There she is. I'd say at this point the project is pretty much done. Um, that new fork was exactly what this bike needed. <clears throat> it's a little bit longer, it's a little bit more of an offset, so it slackened it out just enough to where on those gravel downhills it's just a slight bit more stable. That old fork on there was shorter. It's, I mean, this is a race road race bike from the 80s, so it was built pretty aggressively and pretty short axle to crown, so this is longer makes the bike perfect for gravel. Um, these shifters are working very well. They're the micro new two by nine shifters. Um, got them made it up to just a old Shimano STX RC uh, nine speed derailleur, nine speed cassette Shimano. Then the IXF Amazon cranks of the JG bike 36 tooth oval chain ring. Uh, I've got 36 max teeth in the back and then 36 in the front, so I've got a one-to-one -one climbing ratio. So there's been a few moments where I've wanted a little bit more, but for the most part, at least in Texas, uh, this has been more than adequate. So I'm pretty happy with the way that worked out as well. Uh, 38 millimeter Panaracer Gravel Kings SKs. Uh, I've got just a little bit of clearance on each side in the rear. And then in the front, I've got a 38 also, but I've got with this new fork, I've got quite a bit more clearance. So I could go up to a 40 probably pretty easily. But I want that new pink uh, set of Gravel Kings that just came out. So I'm gonna order those as soon as I can. Uh, the only thing that's really lacking with this bike so far is the uh, the brakes. So these are the original brakes. I put cool stop pads on them, but they're, they're still pretty awful. They're just side pulls. Um, these were never great, even back in, when they first came out. So. The rear, I don't know what I'm gonna do with yet. I might just leave it because I don't really use it as much, but the front, I've got a set of cantilevers at home and I'm gonna mount cantilevers here. And I've got, I'm waiting on a fork mount for the brake cable. So uh, once that comes in, I'll be able to uh, mount the cantilevers, put the fork mount for the cable stop, and then I'll be able to have actually some decent brakes in the front. And um, that'll help a lot. And I think that'll kind of wrap up the bike. Um, once I get those new brakes on there, I'm probably gonna take this uh, to uh, some some mountain bike trails close to where I live. So there will definitely be a video about that. Um, but for now, this is the finished bike. Uh, it's kind of perfect for gravel. Um, I'm loving it and I'm gonna go do the rest of my ride.